to start. Okay. Was that okay start? Yes. Hello. Just taking a few minutes to read from Harvard Business Review. I was reading an article about Web 2.0 and social networking. And what they're saying in the latest literature is that those students who are proficient in Web 2.0 are the ones who are going to be most successful in life. Makes me very happy because at Villa Maria Academy we are doing all that we can to help our students be critical thinkers. And part of that is being able to access information, to synthesize it, analyze it, and make decisions based on it. As you know, in this day and age, information is 24-7. And our students need to learn how to use technology in the proper way. At Villa Maria, we're the first in the diocese to go one-on-one -on -one laptop at this level. Our 7th and 8th graders are learning how to use the web correctly. But not only our 7th and 8th graders, all our students and all our teachers are committed to teaching our students how to use the latest technology in an educational fashion. We don't go to computer class at Villa Maria Academy. We use computers as part of a learning tool. And that's important for you to know. And the reason why I tell you this is because even before that piece of technology reaches the classroom, our teachers are having extensive professional development. Many of our teachers are involved in a learning cohort that celebrates teaching throughout the nation. So we're in contact with the best teachers and we periodically work with them in talking about curriculum initiatives. Also, I need to tell you that our teachers now have been contacted by many schools in the diocese because the use of Moodle, our first initiative in using social media as an educational purpose, has caught on. And many schools are asking us how to use it correctly. One of the areas that we find that we need to do more work on is parental education. Many of our parents have spoken to us and said, we don't know as much as our children know. And it's important that now we begin to educate parents. So I've asked Mrs. Dow and a few of our teachers to start working on parental education pieces. And you'll be hearing about that in the near future. Also, we have begun to look into uh, putting internet access in our gymnasium so that we can live stream many of the programs that we do here at Villa to other schools and to you. We have talked about and are going to initiate for next year embedded professional development so that our teachers can craft out time to meet right here in school during the school day so that we can maximize the use of our professional development time. Embedded professional development has been shown to be more effective than sending teachers out to workshops. We're going to bring in the best educators here, do webinars, illuminate sessions to help our teachers be on the cutting edge of curriculum initiatives. Why do I tell you all that now? Because in a few weeks our ball is coming up. Our annual auction to build a lasting legacy here at Villa Maria. And that ball is extremely important to us because the money's raised at that help us help the teachers, help us help the students. We have many initiatives for next year. We want to drop down the use of technology and get our teachers the equipment they can use, drop it down to the younger grades so that we have netbooks, classroom set of netbooks for every class. Our first grade are blogging already. I sat at lunch yesterday with a three-year-old who on her Nintendo DS took my picture and could manipulate all the games. Our children are wired differently and at Villa Maria Academy we are committed to helping them embrace the future so that when they get older we will help them embrace what Harvard Business Review is telling us that they need workers who are digital savvy. We are also going to start sending home some of the professional reading that we do at school. This is an 
exceptional book called Disrupting Class, How Disruptive Innovation Will Change the Way the World Learns. Our learners are different, so our teaching needs to be different. We're, we're excited about sharing with you the professional development we're doing, and as always, we're committed to helping our girls be competent and confident leaders. So, help us to help them. Your participation in the ball is very, very important. Not only does it raise funds, but it's a great time. So, we'll be talking to you a little bit more about our curriculum initiative. Hope to see you at the ball. Everything you need to know about the ball is on the website. God bless. Thanks for listening.